The Kepler spacecraft lifted off on March 6, 2009, from Cape Canaveral. Its mission: to find Earth-like planets. When Kepler retired in 2018, after more than nine and a half years in space, it had observed more than 530,000 stars and discovered more than 2,600 confirmed planets. But not all of these planets are like Earth. In fact, hardly any are. The most common planet observed was between Earth and Neptune in size, a world that does not exist in our solar system. To be considered Earth-like, a planet needs to be similar in size to Earth. It needs to rotate around a sun-like star, and it must be located in a habitable zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone. How many habitable planets did Kepler find? Perhaps as many as 12, NASA reckoned. Add one more to that list. Analyzing old data from Kepler, a team of transatlantic scientists has found that a computer algorithm had misidentified this planet, Kepler 1649c. They detailed their findings in a paper released on April 15th in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. Kepler 1649c is an Earth-sized exoplanet orbiting in its star's habitable zone, 300 light years from Earth. Kepler 1649c star is called Kepler 1649, hence the planet's name. Among all the exoplanets discovered by the Kepler spacecraft thus far, Kepler 1649c is most similar to Earth in size and estimated surface temperature. The planet is just 1.06 times the size of Earth, and it may share similar surface temperatures since it receives 75% of the amount of light Earth receives from the Sun, though it orbits a red dwarf star, which may be prone to frequent flare-ups. Kepler 1649c orbits the red dwarf so closely that a year on Kepler 1649c lasts only 19.5 Earth days. But it lies within the star's Goldilocks zone, where temperatures are neither too hot nor too cold for liquid water to exist on the planet. Kepler 1649c has a neighboring planet, Kepler 1649b. Kepler 1649c circles the red dwarf nine times for every four times the inner planet orbits. The nine-to-four ratio is rare and may indicate the presence of another planet, which scientists have not observed because it may be too small or have an orbital tilt that makes it hard to find. Scientists are still combing through the vast data set gathered by the Kepler spacecraft, and they'll probably come across more planets like Kepler 1649c. Here's some potentially habitable planets they have already discovered. NASA this week unveiled a major discovery of a star system that contains seven planets similar to Earth. What's exciting is that three of them might just be habitable enough to support extraterrestrial life. Using the Spitzer Space Telescope and Earth-based telescopes, NASA scientists have found a star system called TRAPPIST-1, located 40 light years from Earth. The ultra-compact system contains seven Earth-like planets with surface temperatures low enough to support water. Three of these planets are believed to be in the habitable zone, close to the system's ultra-cool dwarf star. These planets take six, nine, and twelve days, respectively, to orbit the dwarf star. Scientists believe their Earth-like planetary compositions may not only support water but maybe even life. NASA calculations reckon that all the newly discovered planets have a rocky surface, but the space agency says more investigation is needed to determine if any of them contain water. In 2018, NASA will launch the James Webb Space Telescope and will use this for further research into the TRAPPIST-1 system. This telescope can reportedly pinpoint water, methane, oxygen, ozone, and other elements of a planet's atmosphere. The TRAPPIST-1 system is located 235 trillion miles from our solar system, which means if you wanted to catch a flight there, the journey would take about 44 million years. So, still faster than a Spirit Airlines flight. NASA's Kepler mission, launched in 2009 and with two more years to go, has detected 1,284 new exoplanets, including nine worlds that may be able to sustain life. The Kepler Space Telescope orbits the Sun, which itself is orbiting the galaxy. The telescope searches for planets that lie between two major spiral arms of our galaxy. As the telescope travels, it keeps its sensors pointed toward a particular patch in the Milky Way. And has a field of view that stretches 3,000 light years from Earth. At the heart of the telescope are focal plane sensors that monitor the brightness of 100,000 stars simultaneously. Specifically, the sensors detect the decrease in brightness that occurs as planets pass in front of their stars. This is called a transit, 
and is much like what happened on May 9, 2016, when Mercury passed between Earth and the Sun. Computer simulations then calculate how likely it is that the dip in the brightness was caused by a planet or an imposter like a star or a brown dwarf. The Kepler mission has verified 1,284 new planets. 550 appear rocky based on their size. Of these 550, nine are located just far enough from their suns to suggest they may contain water. The total number of exoplanets discovered now stands at 3,200, and a total of 21 of these may be habitable. The Kepler mission shows that with at least 70 billion stars in our galaxy, there may be billions of habitable Earth-sized planets out there that have yet to be discovered. The search for life beyond our solar system has taken an exciting turn after a Belgian-led team reported finding planets with the potential to host life. Astronomers using the TRAPPIST telescope in Chile have discovered three new planets in the Aquarius constellation. The planets are 40 light-years away and similar in size and temperature to Earth. They orbit an ultra-cool dwarf star named TRAPPIST-1, a dim red sun about a tenth the size of ours and only half as hot. All three could have liquid water on their surfaces and thus be potentially hospitable to life. The two closest planets complete an orbit in 1.5 and 2.4 Earth days, respectively. They receive two to four times more radiation than Earth and may have areas that can sustain life. The third, with an orbital period ranging from 4 to 73 days, receives less radiation and may fall within the habitable zone. Scientists are already studying the planet's atmospheric conditions using NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope, with the Hubble Space Telescope joining in soon. For the first time ever, astronomers have detected an atmosphere around a planet other than Earth, marking a significant step in the search for extraterrestrial life. Planet GJ1132b is roughly 1.4 times the size of Earth and is located 39 light years away in the Vela constellation. The Earth-like planet orbits a red dwarf star that is smaller, cooler, and dimmer than our own sun. Dubbed Super-Earth, the planet is believed to be surrounded by a thick atmosphere rich in water or methane, or potentially both. Scientists say one possibility is that GJ1132b is a water world with an atmosphere of hot steam. But with a surface temperature of 370 degrees Celsius, the world is unfortunately not habitable, as life on Earth has only managed to survive in up to 120 degrees Celsius. There's still a lot more to learn about GJ1132b, and scientists hope to be able to observe it more clearly using instruments such as the Hubble Space Telescope, ESO's Very Large Telescope, and the James Webb Space Telescope. American scientists have discovered a supersized Earth-like planet in a nearby star system that could support alien life. Exoplanet LHS 1140b orbits a red dwarf star every 25 days, at a proximity 10 times closer than Earth to the Sun. This red dwarf star is much dimmer and cooler than our Sun, meaning the star's habitable zone is closer. However, its cosmic radiation could still damage the planet. LHS 1140b is 1.4 times the size of planet Earth, but is almost seven times heavier, indicating that it's likely composed of rock and an iron core. It's because of this density that researchers believe the planet may be robust enough to endure the radiation and still hold water. Scientists will be able to examine the 5 billion year old exoplanet much further after NASA launches the James Webb Telescope in 2018. Scientists have discovered a planet orbiting the star closest to our own sun. If that's not remarkable enough, the planet lies in the star's so-called Goldilocks zone, meaning it's possible the planet's surface supports liquid water and perhaps even life. The exoplanet Proxima b is believed to have a rocky surface and its minimum mass is 1.3 times that of Earth. It orbits the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri within its habitable zone at a distance less than 5% the distance between the Sun and Mercury. A full orbit, meaning a planetary year, takes about 11 days. Proxima b is tidally locked, meaning one half of the planet is always bright and the other is always dark. The temperature of the planet's surface could be around minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. If it has an atmosphere, the temperature could reach as high as 86 degrees Fahrenheit on its light side, meaning it could be warm enough to hold liquid water. The planet cannot be viewed by current telescopes. However, scientists are hoping new telescopes to be built in the next decade will reveal some of its secrets. For more news animations and explainers, 
hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.